Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back for my existing subscribers. Today, I wanna share something with you that I talked about in previous videos, which is how to edit 4K 60 frame per second video on your Xbox or off your Xbox One X. Uh, it's a new technology, so there's not a lot of apps that can support it. And some of you know that I run my entire YouTube channel off of an iPad Pro and a couple of peripherals. In addition to, I used to have an <coughs> iPhone 7 Plus, but I just upgraded to a Galaxy Note 8 because I got this Xbox One X and I needed something with a better resolution screen to be able to grab the, the content off of it. So if you have a Galaxy Note 8 or S8 Plus, those are the two phones that I tested, then you're in luck and stay tuned for this video. If I find a way to do it on an iPhone or an iPad, I'll make another video for those users. Um, but if you wanna hang around, then that's fine as well. And we just gain some knowledge that way. Okay, so the app that we're gonna use is called Power Director. And I found a workaround that kinda gets you, it only technically supports 4K at 30 frames per second, but as you know, the Xbox One S does 60 frames per second. So what I found is a workaround to allow it to stay kind of stuck at the 60 frame per second mark. Um, it's not to say like if you wanted to do your videos in 1080p, it has a conversion built in where it will convert your videos to 1080p and 60 frames per second and you could use it that way. But if you want to get the full 4K out of it, then what you do is this. You grab one of your clips. So first of all, let's go through what you'll need. You'll need a PC. You'll need an external storage drive um, to get the content off of the Xbox in 4K. And then you'll need an, a higher end Android phone should do it. I'm gonna put from the website of the developer the list of processors that work. If your phone falls into that list, you should be good to go. Um, I'm not the most technically advanced person, but I am pretty persistent, so I kept working at this until I found a way to make it work. But, you know, just test your phone out. It costs, the app is called Power Director. It costs $6.99. Let me check that. Yeah, $5.99 actually uh, for the pro version, which is what you'll need for the 4K export and the 1080p exports to be active. So those are the three things you'll need. PC, external storage and one of the higher end smartphones, the ones I personally have tested, S8 Plus and Galaxy Note 8. Um, in your Xbox One X with your 4K display obviously connected, you need to make sure that you have your 4K 60 frame per second HDR or SDR capturing on. So once you have, make sure that's on, you, um, you set your save location for your captures to your external storage so that everything you save, whether it be a longer gameplay or a 30 second clip, which is the max, um, you could do that straight to your hard drive. That way when you're done playing your game, you can disconnect your hard drive and go to your PC. Once you've got the content on your PC, essentially what you do is you just open up the external storage and you plug your Galaxy or your Android phone into the PC and hit copy or cut. I prefer cut because it takes the original copy off of the hard drive, freeing up that space so you can make more content and it keeps it neat so you're not ever doubling up because these files are pretty large like a five minute file is about a gigabyte so what you want to make sure is that you put an sd card in there save it to your sd cards and just do it as simply as you can i named folders because it just it just moves raw files into the phone now that the content is on your phone all you have to do is go ahead and open up power director and begin editing a few errors that i've encountered so far have been the decoder stops working so what that means is that the app isn't reading the clip anymore and all you have to do to work around that is just close out the app and go back in and it will start working again if ever the 4k 60 frame per second option goes away then all you have to do is go back into your app uh, convert a 4k clip again and then it'll go to 1080p you pretty much export it like normal and then it'll leave the option on 60 frames per second. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you on the next one.